One of the wireless carriers had a tower up north of Seattle, and another carrier came to us in the middle of November and asked us if we could put a new site on that tower before the end of the year. We somehow managed not to say, Are you kidding? And instead said, Let's do it. In fact, we did it so fast that we don't even have video footage of the work, but we do have some pictures. This is the old shed that we were supposed to turn into a shelter for the electronics. Yep, there's some work to be done here. So we brought in our pros, Jay and Dean, to make it happen. That meant digging trenches to get the power and fiber to the site, and running the conduit and putting in the locator tape. It meant framing up new walls inside the existing walls. It meant residing the building. It meant building a box affectionately called the doghouse on top of the new roof and putting in a couple of cable trays to get the wires from the shelter to the tower. It meant insulation and sheetrock and mud and bringing in a couple of racks for the gear. Meanwhile, our project manager, Brandon, had Ali and Corey ready to make things happen on the tower. But first, the antennas and mounts had to get painted to match, which is a challenge when it's raining. But we found a spot and got it done, and in short order we had all the hardware 100 feet up on the tower. Clamps, brackets, antennas, radios, the works, just below the existing gear. And we got some help on the power side from Expert Electric, and they came through with great work to keep us on track to meet our deadline. And of course the shelter gets some HVAC from our friends at the Performance Mechanical Group to keep all the new gear happy. We're getting close. So up to the tower go multiple power lines and fiber lines in the big hybrid trunk that you can see coming out of the tower here. We get all the connections made and labeled perfectly. And as you can see, Ali and Corey did a great job of wiring it all up. Back down on the ground, things are shaping up in the shelter. The fiber is in now and we've got gear in the racks and we're doing lots of wiring and labeling for power distribution and fiber distribution and lots of different alarm connections for remote monitoring. We're down to one week left as we finish up the shelter. We even had to bring in a ton of gravel and spread it manually. Phew. So, how did it all come out? Well, here's the finished shelter looking very different from where we started. And here's the new site up on the tower. And we finished just in time for some well-deserved New Year's Eve celebrations. Score another one for Team Legacy. <laughs>